Hi guys, welcome uh, to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for the Divine Masculine Energies. We all have masculine feminine energies within us, so this is a great opportunity and you know, anybody can watch this to uh, balance the masculine aspects. This is for the week of the 21st to the 27th of June. We'll uh, take an issue of something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past, immediate future and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. Once again, thank you for the continued support, the like, share, subscribe, comments, all helps the channel grow, it's much appreciated, and all the kind donations, it's uh, once again very much appreciated. Okay, um, in the description box has all the information you need, links to Patreon for full access to all extended, some individual access through Vimeo, Instagram links to see photos of the spread, and details of private reads. Divine Masculine, what's going on? Two more. The Ace of Discs, beautiful. So it could be a brand new opportunity, something tangible, something material. This could be a job, it could be a pay rise, it could be money coming in. Um, either way, it feels exciting. Something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past, immediate future, potential outcome. Okay, interesting. The Hanged One, Page of Wands, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, Four of Cups, Four of Wands and the Emperor. Okay, this could be looking at something different. I almost feel like there's an, an assessing of some sort of naivety here in regards to something. Could be seen 444 a lot. We've got the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Emperor being Major Arcana number 4. And the Queen of Swords before that is card number 13, breaks down to a 4. So you can be seeing 4444 four, 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 a lot. Right, there's an opportunity coming here. Um, I almost feel like the opportunity is to see how far you've come along your path. So, we have the Ace of Discs. Like I say, this is some sort of opportunity that's coming round. What we're aware of is the Wu Wai. This is kind of going with the flow, knowing that sometimes, you know, we can be seemingly heading in a direction, but then you know, a stream heads towards the river, but a stone can be thrown in and just create um, uh, ripples. It's like a ripple effect, is it? It's as if you're at a point now where you've got the opportunity to choose a new a new path or to continue on the path or to go back to the old it's, it's I, I almost feel like this is a crossroads type of woo wai situation it's like the universe is just going to throw this big stone in the middle of the stream and it's going to send these ripples and some of those ripples lead back to old ways, old ways of doing things. The new takes you to higher consciousness. It takes you to um, a levelling up, but it's also the fear of the unknown. What you're not aware of is strength. Uh, Any time an ace comes with the strength card, for me it just magnifies the power. So whatever this opportunity is, it, it, it's power packed. Um, from the universe. The recent past is the Wheel of Fortune. This is, the, I, can't, I almost feel like the Wheel of Fortune here, is here to say that everything's changing. The energies are very strange. Um, just recently we've had all these super moons, we've got another super moon coming up in this current week, the 21st or 27th. On the, on the 24th it's the last super moon of the year in Capricorn. Capricorns is like your hard work is paying off um, so I kind of feel like all these energies is what the wheel is doing it's, it's turning things around it's making those that um, need to face their karma face their karma it means, means those that need to be rewarded for their dharma get to receive their dharma the immediate future is the devil this is Capricorn energy this is the full moon in Capricorn this week but it's also here to say we can choose that old 
toxic path or outcome temperance we can choose the path of higher consciousness the path of connecting with our guides it's a massive option is this week do you go with the flow and let the ripples take you towards higher consciousness that you can't see clearly what the path is or do you stick to the known path which is just karmic cycles um, negative energies around you of people whatever places or do you be, do you be brave and um, you know and follow the path least travelled so the choice this week is angels or demons divine masculines okay lovers jumping up could be a decision in regards to relationships Beautiful. The Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, could be somebody in the past that wants to offer you something. You know, possibly been watching. Wedged right between the two aces here is the Page of Swords. So there could be some sort of um, watching your social media, ready to make you an offer of love or stability or something like that. Yeah, I kind of feel like you're going to be celebrating something here there's going to be an opportunity I feel this week Divine Masculines where or, or to, you know, to balance your Divine Masculine energy there could be some sort of karmic wound coming to the surface that could be an element of victim mentality and perhaps seeing things a little bit more clearly so we've got the Ace of Discs with the Three of Cups, so it could be some sort of celebrations in regards to um, an opportunity coming in, celebrating with friends, but I can't, whatever it is, whatever this opportunity is, whatever this Ace of Discs is, it's something worth celebrating, so it's going to be different for all of you, it could be pay rise, could be, it, it does feel like money coming in, if I'm honest, because we've got the, what you're aware of is Wu Wai with the King of Pentacles, it could be somebody, um, um, older than you possibly doesn't have to be just somebody very very mature very very um, good business mind possibly uh, could be a boss type figure or it could be just you you know concentrate on your stability and um, uh, and really you know working hard at it what you're not aware of is strength with the six of pentacles and again I'm kind of feeling like there's something here where you having the strength and the courage to possibly look where you've been not exactly balanced in your giving of energy um, because we've, we, we all have the shadow aspects we all have left somebody out in the cold we have all left a situation where we've not given our time freely you know we've all done it and if anybody says that they haven't they, you know they're not looking at themselves honestly um, so it could be just this thing this week where we're, we're, we're acknowledging these aspects. Something might come to the surface where we just have to sit with the energy of, of realising that, you know, 
uh, we've been at fault for stuff that we've probably project onto others, you know, especially if somebody's left you feeling out in the cold. Um, um, the immediate reaction is that sort of victim mentality. I kind of feel like this is possibly something coming to the surface where we're going to recognise, you know, we've done that ourselves. In the recent past, um, so this could be this week, that's just happened, is the wheel with the tower. Uh, so this could be like divine intervention, this could be shocking turn of events. So whatever's happened has come, whatever tower moment has happened, it, it's been divinely guided, it's, it's had to happen to a certain degree. The immediate future is the devil with the nine of wands, so for me this is victim mentality. Um, but I kind of feel like this is re recognising that, you know, not wallowing in self-pity when things go wrong, um, but instead just recognising how we can use that wounded healer energy to help others, or um, recognising that we're not a victim, we can stand in our power and get beyond it. The potential outcome is temperance with the Ten of Pentacles. So if you choose the higher path, you choose the higher consciousness, you are choosing legacy, you are choosing a timeline of abundance, a timeline of having everything that you desire. Uh, for some of you, there could be uh, arguments within the family, possibly a shocking turn of events here, argument within the family recently. Um, a lot of wounds, a lot of karmic wounds reopening. This for me is also um, reconciliation. It could be with family members, it doesn't have to be, um, but it could be just reconciliation within um, a commitment. But I'm more leaning towards choosing that path of higher consciousness leading you to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Divine Masculines. So there's going to be a little bit of possibly ego massaging here for the sense of if we're going to feel like a victim we've all done it, we've all had to sit with it um, again uh, I've, I've abused possibly to yourselves before I remember when I first split up with my um, ex-wife uh, you know, the breakdown in the marriage in my head was all she did this, she did this, she did this and then reality, you know it, it works both ways and it's, 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 it's recognising that sort of um, victim mentality where you know, you, you you look at your actions and how you've, um, uh, you know, not been the easiest as well. So it's kind of just sitting with that energy and realising nobody's perfect. We all have our flaws, but the, the ultimate aspect is you learn from these flaws and don't do it again. So there could be just something that comes to the surface this week. However, when you choose that higher consciousness, when you choose not to go into the old patterns, the old ways of being, doing, that's when you step into a timeline of abundance and you know legacy beautiful okay you could have in your chart or be dealing with oh no we'll look at the um extended we're going to look at we're going to look at what this could be no no we're not we're going to look at the shocking turn of events let's uh, get a different angle of uh, what's changed for some of you, the shocking event is actually a cause for celebration. Um, for others of you, it could be something that needs to be reconciled. Uh, but we're going to see. We're going to see a um, different aspect of that. So you could have in your chart. I'll be dealing with. We have Sagittarius. We have Capricorn. We have Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius again, Pisces. Aries. We've got cups, we've got wands, we've got pentacles, and we've got swords. So everybody's here, those are your standouts. So Divine Masculines, if you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, look after yourselves and I shall see you soon.